And hopefully we're going to clear up a little bit of confusion here. So let's talk about the flu for a second. Uh, during an average season, about 36,000 Americans do die from complications of the flu. And just this year, more than 2,000 Georgians went to the hospital with the illness. So here's what you need to know. The flu can weaken the body's defenses, and that can lead to more serious complications, especially for children or the elderly. And many people don't seek treatment or even know they have a serious case of influenza. That's because sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a cold, a flu, and the pneumonia. So I asked Sierra Peebles at the Georgia Coastal Health District to break it all down, and here's what she said. Viruses. So let's start with that. So that's how they're similar. A cold is something that typically we can ward off pretty quickly. It's usually caused by like a rhinovirus or something like that. Again, you're going to have like maybe a cough, a congestion, a sneeze, but it typically doesn't come with a fever. So that's really a big deciding factor. Um, flu, again, a respiratory virus, it's going to have, you know, a fever, cough, congestion, more like body aches and chills. It kind of affects the whole body there. Um, pneumonia, again, is could be viral or bacterial in origin, so it can kind of go both ways. Um, and you are gonna have those um, respiratory symptoms as well, but it's gonna be more of a deep chested respiratory um, illness. And of course, the treatment is going to depend on the illness as well as the age and comorbidities of a patient. Now, one good way to treat the flu is to not get it in the first place. That's why the health department recommends a seasonal flu shot. And you can find more information about where you can get vaccinated on our website. That's WSAV.com. On your side, I'm Alexis King.